Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So on my Instagram, I put a poll up a while ago and I asked for any video ideas. I had a couple that said they wanted to see some makeup with old palettes. I'm gonna try and recreate this eye again on the other side, of course, and I've gone for this colourful bright makeup because it is looking a bit gloomy outside and I want something to brighten up my day. One of my goals is to try out different kind of looks so this is what it is. The palette I've got in today using this look is the Makeup Obsession Dream with a Vision palette. Someone actually wanted a specific video on this palette and here it is. I also used one shade from Miss Piggy because I just needed a top up on the pink because the pink on the Dream of Vision just doesn't cut it out for me, so that's why Miss Piggy had to get involved. I haven't used this palette in a very long time. In fact, I haven't used this palette ever since I did my review on it ages ago. Um, if you want to see that, I'll link it down below. I hate watching back on those videos, so I don't know what I'm like on there. Things have changed, I've changed, makeup's changed, and hopefully my skill of makeup has changed. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna do a bright, colourful look today. Hopefully to brighten up your day and yeah, just for a bit of fun really. So, if you're interested to see how I created this, then keep on watching. Hit subscribe if you like beauty content, of course. And yeah, without further ado, let's go into this palette. So I've just gone in with the Beauty Bay eyeshadow primer and then I'm just gonna use a UBU number 35 brush. It's just this big fluffy brush. Now the hard bit is trying to figure out what I did. I started off with the shade Ambition, which is this dark blue in the corner. And I kind of blended that color out with the shade Skylight, which is a mint green. The blend wasn't perfect. So you just had to be there for a while, but we got there. So I got that Ambition shade and I got it in a Girls With Attitude brush. So sorry, it hasn't got a name on it. It's just a liner brush really quite slim. I went a bit above my crease and I just went in that shape. And this does take a bit of packing on the brush as well because it's not overly pigmented. I'm just gonna take my Peaches and Cream PC38 brush. I'm just gonna go over it and just try to smooth out the edges. And then to blend that further, I'm gonna go in the Skylight shade, which is this minty green blue. And I'm not gonna tap too much off because it is a pastel and I want as much pigment as I want, so I'm just gonna put that over the Ambition shade, just above it slightly. And then I'm gonna take my Peaches and Cream PC47 brush, it's just a slightly smaller fluffy brush, and get the Skylight shade again and just fluff it out towards me bro. Me blue. Do look nice together, these two ones. They don't blend very quick into each other, but you get there eventually. And then I'm gonna go back into that blue because I feel like we've lost the color. To get this yellow, I went in the shade Sunshine, which is the only yellow in there, but I am gonna take my fluffy brush, the same one, pack it on, go above it, so it's towards the brown. These shades are very hard to get the pigment, so I wouldn't tap too much off, and it's all about repacking on. I'm just gonna go around here, under the brow here. Okay, so this is the part I'm just gonna cut the end. So I'm going to use my Pro Conceal HD High Definition by Ally Girl and this is in the shade Fairest. Then to cut it with I'm going to use my Peaches and Cream PC 52 brush. Make sure it's on both sides. And then here's where the magic is. Not making it even. I 
I'm going to take the shade Bubble. Taking an eyebrow brush, I'm not sure what this brush is. I got it as a gift. I've got a feeling it might have been from Amazon. We're going to create a wing. Okay, now I'm going to go in dreamy and this is where I started to struggle. Put it on the end. And then I'm gonna put dreamy in front. And this is where Miss Piggy comes in. So I'm gonna take the higher shade, place it on top. This is just more of a pigmented pink. And then I'm gonna go back into that bubble shade on the other side and just go back in, clean it up. And now this is the moment where we're going to cut the first portion. So, portion? Did I say portion? I'm going to go back into the Ali Gale concealer. Same brush. And on top of the concealer, we're going to go in the shimmer. Now, there's some shimmers in this palette that I really like. I'm going to take Mystical. And this is a really nice shimmer. Putting Mystical straight onto the lid where we've put the concealer. By the way, when I cut that bit of the crease, I went to the shade Imagine, which is this white shade. So I will just do that slightly. Okay, and then I really like this shimmer. This is called Fantasy. I'm gonna mix that in with Mystical. And where did I put this again? Oh, I, I just put it over here. So it meshes it together. And then for the inner corner, I went into two things actually. I went into the silver lining, which is like a silver bright inner corner. What else did I go in? Oh, I went into this incredible you glow girl and i got this in my rocker box a while ago it's just loose pigment dust and you can write as your face and lips and it's in the shade have i got your attention that's the shade it's the duochrome i thought that'd be interesting so that's what i put in the corner go my brush because it is a pastel i am going to put whatever's left of that base under my eyes just so hopefully it shows up more Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in this Ambition shade again, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Then I'm going to mix that Skylight green, Mint Green shade into it. I wish there was an orange in this palette, now I'm thinking, but oh well. I'm going to go in with Dreamy shade, but I just don't think it's going to go on. This good is the pinky, Miss Piggy one. This pink mixing in with the green makes a slight purple, which I quite like. This is by Emmy Way. It's just an intense white colour. And I'm just going to go in my lash line because I believe this will make my eyeshadow, well, not eyeshadow, my eyes pop more. I would put it here, but I'm not talented enough. Oh, I don't know how people do that bit. I'm just gonna carry on with the rest of my makeup now. So sit back, relax, we've done the hard part now. So for my primer, I'm gonna go in the Revolution XX and this is the Hydra Quench, I think it's the aloe vera. I don't think you get a lot of product in this one, um, but I just love how it feels on my skin. Just makes it feel so cool and refreshed. Like you come out the shower, like, and it makes it really sticky. So I do think my foundation holds well on this primer. On my lips, I just quickly went into the Too Faced. Is it Too Faced lip injection? I actually don't know if it works, but so for foundation, I'm gonna go in my CRT London mixed in with my Ally Girl foundation mixing pigment. Use these two together. Go in my Miss Piggy sponge, 
Um, I just like to warm it up on my skin first and then blend it with a sponge. I'm going to go with my Jeffree Star Magic Star. I'm just going to rub that in a bit on my skin, pat it in. Contour, I'm going to go with my Clinique Chubby Stick. I really like this. Bronzer, I'm going to go in with Too Faced Sun Bunny and just bronze my face up. For some reason, I just like to go in another bronzer, so I'm going to go in the Hoola. Just take a bit of this and just keep applying bronzer. Then I go in another bronzer because apparently one bronzer isn't enough. This is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer and I think this is just a tad bit warmer and I feel like I need that. Do I? <laughs> I'm going to go in my Primark Prime and Fuse. No, I'm not. I'm going to go in my iHeart Revolution Vanilla and Coconut. Fixing spray. Okay, and now for highlighter. I'm gonna go in what I got while I go in my rocker box. This is called the Booty Crop. I don't know if I got too much powder on though because it is a liquidy, so. But work it in with the sponge. Yeah, that kind of works. So I reckon I need to go in the Too Faced Diamond. Put that on, like that. Right, I'm going into my Rogue Gold, Gold Glow. Rose gold glow, rose gold glow. Mix it. Um, time to bring out the colour pop flexitarian. I think. Oh yes. Blush. I'm just gonna go in this Delilah Cosmetics. It's in the shade Dusk. Because I do think this look needs a blush, but now I feel like it needs a shimmer blush. So I'm gonna go in my Bleeding Heart I Heart Revolution Baked Blush, just like that, and just. Add more on because it is a colourful look and it would be rude to not have a lot of blush on. I'm going to go in my lip liner called Slay All Day Lottie London. It's in the shade Girl Power. Peachy lips. I got it in my rocker box. I literally can't read the font. Deuce. D O U double C. No, triple C. Deuce. Luscious lip stain. So I'll go in the shade Chestnut. This is by the brand Focular. They smell amazing. I just got in with some Ace Beauty lashes and I've already put them on. So everyone, here is my completed rainbow eye makeup look using the dream with a vision and a bit of Miss Piggy. So, so the person that wanted me to try out this palette or just an old palette in general, here is a look. Quite different to what I normally do on my channel. I wanted to get creative with makeup, just sit down and chill and just do a tutorial. There's some pretty shades in here, like the mystical and fantasy shade and the silver lining that I really like. However, you need to be careful with the pastels because already I feel like the pastels have disappeared. It's dissolved. The pink in here dreamy i prefer the pink in miss piggy it's just more pigmented and this is such a festival makeup look i think i i just want to go to a festival i was actually gonna go cream fields last year but yeah let's not get into that hopefully it's on this year hopefully i definitely would want to create this look again it is looking a bit lopsided but i can let's be real i can never match my rye it's something i need to practice with here it is I actually really like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and gave you an idea how to use this palette. The thing is, I film with these palettes and then I forget all about them. So my mission for this year is just to go through my old palettes and just give them a chance. Yeah, I actually do like this palette. It's a cute palette. 
just wish the pastels will hold. I don't know if this pastel would last all day. If you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And also leave in the comment section down below of other video ideas you'd like to see from me. Of course, if you want to see any of my future uploads, I'd hit the subscribe button as well and turn the notification bell turned on. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever time you're watching this, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.